Welcome to this Football Manager 2015 experiment. Today it is the return of my starting from scratch themed videos. I did a few of these back in November, December time. So I'll put the link to the playlist in the description below so you can check them out after this video if you're interested. Essentially what I do in these experiments though is that I remove all of the players or nearly all of the players from a team and the manager sometimes too. I generally keep the players, the young players aged 18 and under and sometimes keep a couple of lone players as well. Then what I do is I holiday through the years, see how they cope. Do they Are they able to start from scratch? Do they spend lots of money in that first season to see if they're able to revive themselves? Of course, some clubs will suffer from financial fair play. Clubs like Man City really struggled in the one that we did about them because they weren't able to spend any money that first season and got relegated. So today I'm doing PSG. I'm going to be doing this in more than one part. I've realised that Football Manager experiments work better in bite-sized chunks because you guys don't always want to sit around watching a half an hour video, you don't have the time to do that. So if I do videos that are sort of 10 minutes or 15 minutes long and then do one, two, three parts to it, then it makes more sense and you're, you guys are more likely to watch and find it a bit more engaging. So this part one, I'm just going to holiday one year and see how PSG do. Then if you want a part two, if you want to see how they do in the future, um, then leave a like, leave a, leave a comment, let me know you'd like to see another part. Of course they may actually recover in the first season, you may think there's no point going further, uh, which is why I think it's good to give you an option after the first season. They may get relegated, we'll find out. So what I've done is I've removed all the PSG players, they've got one player on loan, Sergio Aurea from Toulouse, he's actually quite a good player, uh, but I've kept him there because he's an on loan player, he should go back after one year. Um, and then the rest of the players are 18, 17, 16 years old in this first team because all the big players have been removed. We'll have to see where they go at the end of the first season. Players like Ibrahimovic and Levetsi and Cavani. And I've also removed the manager. They've got the uh, staff still there, but the manager has been removed. So we'll see who replaces Laurent Blanc as manager of PSG. So without further ado, I'm going to holiday to the end of the 2014-15 season. So as you can see from the top here, it has not ended well for PSG. First up, Dick Advocate is in charge of PSG. Despite not doing very well, he, did, he has actually kept his job for the whole season and has actually won a cup, interestingly enough. So they won the French Champions Trophy. Uh, I suppose that's the equivalent of the, the, <laughs> uh, the Charity Shield, isn't it? So it's not that impressive. Let's look at the league then. This is where they finished, as you can see, 19th, 34 points, 5 points off safety, relegated with these two teams. Monaco champions, probably quite predictably so. You'd expect Monaco to probably be the team to take the mantle of PSG with the money they have. I could have done a starting from scratch removing Monaco's money as well, but I wanted to see how well Monaco did without PSG there, out of interest. I could always do another starting from scratch Monaco I guess at some point. So let's look at the squad to see who is in that team now. You can see they've certainly signed a lot of players. Uh, there's plenty of players over the age of, of 18 there now. Let's have a look at the transfers and then we'll look at how well these players did for them. I guess they didn't do very well considering they got relegated. They spent £9.75 million pounds and it was really quantity rather than quality. That The bigger signing was Diallo from Social Montpellier for 2.5 million. Three players were, uh, four players were bought for a million or more. So it really was quantity over quality for PSG, as you can see there. Let's have a look at how the players performed. Best average rating was Buzian, who only played one sub appearance, so it doesn't really count. The two keepers, well, those two only managed 15 appearances between them, so there must be another goalkeeper in there. Yep, it's this guy, Gallon, played. They have a real mix of goalkeepers. Four goalkeepers, is that correct? Yeah, four different goalkeepers. Played a fair number of games there. Let's look at the goals. Top scorer was Telemes. Telemes, 29-year-old, with nine goals all season. Not very good. Assists wise, the top guy was Laurie Mengual. Look at the quality there, it's just really poor compared to what you'd usually see. And he's come from 
Tours FC in, in the second division for a free. You know, it's not what they need, and they've been relegated. These are their fixtures. You can see they won the Champions Trophy just about on penalties. Struggled to that win against the team that I think went down with them, actually. But look at these results. So poor. Just the odd win here and there. And perhaps after January, when they actually signed a few players, more players, they did pick up a bit in January time towards the end of the season. They still lost plenty of games, but they did actually get a few more points and almost recovered five points off 17th place in the end. It wasn't quite enough. So there we go. Let's have a look at where some of the big name PSG players went to. This is almost more interesting in a way. Ibrahimovic has gone to Real Madrid and scored 27 goals in 36 games for Real Madrid as well. Cavani has gone to Atletico Madrid and scored 14 goals in 19 games. Levetzi is at Roma. Thiago Silva has moved to Man United. David Luiz has gone to Barcelona. Hasn't really played a huge number of games though, 20 and quite a few of them off the bench. Sirigu has moved to Greece. And Javier Pastore has gone to Juventus. Lastly, we just have a look at Blaise Matuidi, who's also gone to Real Madrid. Um, I think we'll leave it there for the PSG players. I've probably missed some really big ones out, but I think that's enough for now. Uh, let's just see where they finish. They finished top with those two players, Matuidi and Ibrahimovic, in the team. But the winners of the Champions League was actually Bayern Munich, 1-0 against Chelsea in the final. Lewandowski with the winner. And if we look at the Premier League, it was actually won by Man United with the help of Thiago Silva at the back. Maybe that's all they need, a really good quality defender. So that's it really for the this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this part one. If you want a part two, please leave a like. Please let me know in the comment section below. And we can see if PSG can revive themselves and get promoted from the second division in France. Um, with that money that they have, they're still a rich club. You'd probably expect them to turn it around because they're they still got four star reputation. It's dropped down by half star actually, and they are rich. But still, it could be a bit of a problem. They're going to have to be sensible with their money to get promoted back up. So if you want a part two, let me know, and I'll happily do one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.